One down, base is empty. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And he makes the catch. And there's two away. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Into center. De La Cruz on his way over. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's bottom half of inning number two. And at the plate for Miami, Jorge Soler. In for a strike. That's strike one. Soler. There's the strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up no there. Ball. Really That's good right. pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Brian Anderson stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. The pitch. Now one and one. No score here in the second. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. And down on strikes. And there are two down. Two outs, face is empty. Jazz Chisholm now. 0 for 6 in the series so far. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Left hand batter waits. And a ground ball to first. Schwarber takes it to the bag. And that is all set for the start of the inning. And stepping in is the speedy JT Real Muto. Hernandez back to work. Good eye right there. Counts one and oh. Hit hard on the ground to short. And Real Muto is out. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Kyle. And a foul ball. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Top of the third. No score. The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Stays alive. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Pitch misses there, and the count is two and two. And now it's filled up. The pitch. Hot shot to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and they don't get the out. All over that one right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Now here is Kyle Gibson. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The pitch. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. And here it comes. Chases that one out of the zone. Now two away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. This one smoked out to left. Soler makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia, and we're still... Bottom of the inning, and now the catcher comes up to him. Jacob Stallings. First offering, misses the mark. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball there. 
the 1 1. And now 1 and 2. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and one gone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Miguel Rojas at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. That's inside. Next offering is down low. And that's ball two. Right hander kicks deals. And that one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Fouled off left side. Swings and misses. Back to back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. And now the pitcher, Eliezer Hernandez. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Two outs. Swings through that one. You know, Book, every team has a hitters meeting pregame, but this lineup seems way too anxious. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Impeccable command in that one. Back here in Miami as we go to the top of the fourth. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. The pitch. Swings through that. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Harper now. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power he can untie it with one swing and there's something you don't see very much in today's game the pitch out righty delivers in the air out towards left center Makes the catch. That's out number two. The batter, the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. So up next, Odubel Herrera. 0 for 1 so far.
on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate, and a foul ball. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right side, and that's just foul. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Picks up strikeout number seven. John Birdie getting ready to hit. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success. Trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The wind of the pitch. And down on strikes he goes, and there are two outs. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Aguilar, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. The Marlins still looking for their first hit in this one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And a pitch. Got him looking. The big right, he strikes out the side. And 1-2-3 go the Marlins. Still no score. Ready now for the fifth inning. This is Bryson Stott. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Line drive, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, the tag, and they cut him down, going for two. JT Real Muto steps in. And a foul ball. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Here comes a pitch. Lifted in the air, out to left. Solaire settles underneath it, drops into the glove, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Kyle, Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. And that one fouled off. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Jorge Soler up at the plate. 
First pitch, not close. Soler. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. All this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. And up next for Miami, Ryan Anderson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a good eye there. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. And it is two and one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And he deals. Got him. Two down. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Chisholm batting for the second time, and that's strike one. He'll one. And a swing and a miss there. And a pitch. Stays alive. The fish hitless so far in the game. Next pitch is downstairs. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning. Back here at the ballpark, now to the plate, the pitcher. Kyle Gibson. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And that's outside. Kicks and fires. And that's downstairs and outside. Swings through that one for strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. 2-2 Two -two now. Soft contact in the air, and out number one on the grab. Gene Segura at the plate here. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Out there to center. Dela Cruz makes the catch, and there's two down. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. In the air, right field. Pulls up, and it drops for a hit. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Bryce Harper stands in for the Phillies. One for two. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. And a foul ball. And he'll one. Sliced hard, but foul. Mm -hmm. 
Riding to the plate. Slapped foul. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And one and two. One and two. Boom. Leads off first with two down to the inning. The one two. That smash towards center. De La Cruz makes the catch, and that'll do it. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. And we still have no. Back here in Low Depot Park. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Gibson back to work. And that one hit to first. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Good late bite on that slider, got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Digging in, Miguel Rojas. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. In there for strike one. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Next pitch has popped up. Gibson settles under it and makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. Eliezer Hernandez, the next up for the Marlins. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Right hander kicks deals. On the ground. He is safe, and that was bang, bang at first. And now the center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that is that. Marlins leave one, and we're still knotted. Back here in Miami, stepping in the long ball threat, Reese Hoskins. That's hard hit on the line. Can't get there, base hit. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. In safely with a leadoff double, go-ahead runs in scoring position. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And now, Odubel Herrera. And it's fouled away. Next pitch in the dirt. And the count even one and one. Movement in the Marlins bullpen. Anthony Bass getting loose out there. Holloway getting cranked up as well. Here's a 1 1. In the air, center field. Dela Cruz coming on. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. And first offering is fouled off. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And the righty deals. Grounded to Aguilar. Steps on first for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work.
And now it is JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That's to third and foul ball. at the belt and fires. And there's a foul ball. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's gonna have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't wanna watch one go right by you. And he'll two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Stallings collects, fires the first. In time. Welcome back, bottom of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, John Birdie. That's in for a strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The pitch. That one fouled off. Deal two. And that just misses. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Got him swinging. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now for the Marlins, Jesus Aguilar, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Herrera has a beat on it. Calls it in, two away. Here's a big power threat. Jorge Soler. And that's in there for strike one. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. The 0-2. Right through there. Got him. And that is that. Miami down in order, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. That one's in there. That's strike one. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's blown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The pitcher, number 44, Kyle Gibson. Here's the pitcher, Kyle Gibson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And fouled off. And the next pitch is way outside. Bounce to the left side. Rojas picks it up. Tosses across the first. And that quickly, two away. 
the batter number two, second baseman, Gene Segura. At the play, Gene Segura. And the first oh offering God. is not close. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. Oh. That's in there. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Ripped on a line. Dela Cruz makes the catch, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still. Bottom of the eighth, and now the right fielder, Ryan Anderson. And the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The line to kick the pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Schwarber makes the grab. And there's one down. Up next is the second baseman. Jazz Chisholm now at the plate. This is where the no-hit bid really starts feeling real, but still a long ways to go. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Jacob Stallings now. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And first offering is fouled off. Here's your one. And the pitch is outside, ball one. And the right hander deals. There's a strike. The count is one and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. And possibly a double switch coming now as a meeting taking place near the home plate area. Anthony Bass out of the bullpen now, and he'll go into the sixth spot in the lineup following the double switch. Joey Wendell, he'll move into the ninth spot in the lineup. The pitch. Strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Here's the 0-2. And downstairs. And that one is lifted in the air. Solaire gliding as he moves to his left. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. One away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Over to Aguilar. Two up, two down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. Oh. 
First offering misses badly for ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Zach Pop appears to be getting loose. And it's one and one. And there's a strike on the outside corner. So now one and two to Reese. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Back here at Low Depot Park. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And at the plate for Miami, Miguel Rojas. Up the middle, stop. Handles the chance. Tosses to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. And the batter now, Joey Wendell. One of their last chances to break up the no-no. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. You can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now. You've got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you hope that he strikes the hitter out. The next offering misses. Now one and two. Left-hand batter waits. Stays alive. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. And a one-two again. That one pushed to the left and foul. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Got him. And there's two away. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Two down, nobody on. And delivers oh, outside. Oh, and that one missing low. The pitch. Ground ball to Bohm. Fires over to first. That ends the frame. And the Marlins down quietly. And we're still knotted at zero. Concentrating my balance, give life a better chance. I'm too involved in God, not television. On to extra innings. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. And a pitch. 
check swing but he went too far and that is strike one. Left hand hitter waits and ball one. Miami's bullpen with some action. Zach Pop, the right handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Holloway, a hard throwing right hander up as well. Righty delivers. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. De La Cruz makes the play, and there's one away. Here's a speed threat. Bryson stop. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. To the right side, Wendell fires over to first. Two in a row set down to start the 10. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. First offering, misses the mark. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Out towards left center, De La Cruz gliding to his right, flashes the leather on the running catch. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for Philadelphia, and we are still scoreless. On to the bottom of the 10th, and here is John Birdie. Gibson back to work. Ball one there. Activity in the bullpen. Zach Pop preparing to come on if needed. Holloway getting loose as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Runner leads away at second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch stays alive. Kicks and deals. Fouled off down the right side. Here's a one-two. Got him looking. And here in the tenth, the leadoff man is out. I don't know what he's looking for right there. You have to be ready to swing the bat. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. Aguilar swings through it for strike one. And now the count is even. Man at second. Tap back up the middle. In plenty of time to first. Play is made, two out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now here is Jorge Soler. That one's in there, 0-1. And, and a pitch. And strike two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Winning run at third, two down. Lifted in the air, right field. Harper makes the catch, and that'll do it. A discussion happening at home plate now, and I back here in Miami. Now we go to the 11th, and here's the first baseman, Kyle Schwarber. Here comes a pitch, and first offering is fouled off. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he'll two. This one in the air, center field. That one's back. 
Up against the wall and brings it in. Runner tags up for third. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And it's even up. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Real Muto stands at third with one gone to the inning. Next one misses two and one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Two out. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. Next pitch misses way outside. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. 2-0. Swing and a ball popped up. That's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go-ahead run on base. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. Alec Bohm stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And a pitch. Foul ball. That one the other way. Base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Up next for Philadelphia. Bryce Harper to the plate. Bryce. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Solaire drops steps, heads back on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and the home team down a run. If I see you, yeah, I'm coming, and it's all mine. Making headlines on my own dime. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. We're in extras here. Now it's the right fielder, Brian Anderson. On the ground at first. And it gets by him. Harper fires it to the plate. Tag safe. We're tied at one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Next pitch misses outside. And one and one. And he deals. Going to count one and two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next pitch misses. Ball two. Next offering is fouled back. At the belt and fires. In the air out towards right center. Harper on the run into the gap. Makes the catch one down. And here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. First off, and it just misses. And the righty deals. Smash to the left side. Down the line, and it's foul. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Harper settles underneath it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. And now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas, for the fourth time tonight. 
And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Schwarber pulls it down, and the inning is over. So one run in the inning on this base hit. All even now at 1-1. Welcome back onto the 12th and digging in for Philadelphia Reese Hoskins Holloway back to work swings and misses strike one double barreled action in the bullpen Zach pop the young right hander up and throwing Blyer warming up as well birdie fires over to first and that is a big first out. And now the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. It's gone! He'll circle the bases, his second of the year, and now they're out front. It's 3-1. New pitcher on now, Zach Pop. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now Bryson Stock. The other way. Fair ball. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. The back. The catcher. JT. JT Real Muto stands in for the Phillies. In there for strike one. Hard hit left side. Toss to Diaz. And Real Muto is out. The first base, number 12, Kyle Schwarber. And now Kyle Schwarber is hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates.
really strong. He gets the intentional walk here and now will force it any base with two gone. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Gibson at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Two on, two outs. Ground ball, left side. Birdie fires over to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But the Phils get two on this blast. And this is now a... Back here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Joey Wendell. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Action in the pen down there. Anthony Bender appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. Liar, a left-hander, also throwing. And a 1-1. Just missed. And another ball. The 3 1. On the ground, right side. And it's just foul. That was close. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Down on strike. So there's one away here in the 12th. So the batting order turns over. Now here is Brian De La Cruz. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. And here it comes. This to center field. Knocks it down. Here comes the throw. In there. He's safe. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in. Like Goes to second, safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Marlins making a move for a pinch hitter. Garrett Cooper, big at bat for him with the tying run and scoring position. Swings through that one, 0-1. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Big spot, tying and winning runs aboard with one down. and two now on the ground left side six four three and that's the ball game well this is one of the most unusual complete games you'll see in a ball game today he was very economical with his pitches and allowed him to pitch into extras and then he got the run support that he needed just in time three two the final score a one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and 